Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to disassemble your Rubik's Cube. So I'm not going to use a normal Rubik's brand cube. Uh, instead I'm going to use this cube that I don't know what the brand is and it's like a uh, one I got from eBay for a really cheap price but it actually is a pretty nice cube. We won't get too much into that though. We will start with the disassembly. So you want to turn one of the faces 45 degrees so the ed the so one of the corners lines up with the center and the bottom edge. And then don't pull off this corner piece because it might, you know, damage the piece, rip off the rip off part of the um connecting um little piece on the bottom. Instead, you're just going to want to pry out one of the edge pieces. It doesn't take a lot of strength to do. It's really not that hard. And then you're going to want to take out the two corners that are next to it and repeat the same process. Just pry out an edge, take out the corner, try to keep them sorted for easier reassembly, if you know what I mean. And finally, the last edge if we can get it out there we go so there is the first um uh part and after that it's pretty simple most of the cube should actually just come apart on its own but you know you just want to kind of fool with it a little bit and it'll come apart until you just have this core piece so then you can clean it out or whatever it is that you guys need to do you can lubricate it experiment with it just look at it and see how it works anything like that it, it doesn't really matter and then when you're done you're just gonna wanna put your cube back together so find you know one of the edge pieces or something here's a orange and green so just fit that in into the middle layer in the correct place it's pretty easy not too hard to understand and then find another one that goes in that same layer here's a blue and orange so you turn the cube to the corresponding place there. Just stick it right in. And then you're going to want to find another one. Here's the green and red. Slide it right down. And the final one, the blue and red. The last one's usually the hardest for me, but after some messing with it you should be able to easily get that middle layer done and now for the black layer just want to turn the black 45 degrees so once again the tip of this lines up with the center and then place an edge in but be careful not to wreck this middle layer that you've already completed and then find the two corners that go with it so it's going to be two black and green corners black green and orange and black green and red here's black green and red so make sure that's in the correct place and then you can move on to black green and orange and there's that make sure it's also on the correct place and then you should be able to fill in these two Whoops on the red and orange edge pieces so then all you need to do is just do one edge so there's the orange just pop it right in and the red go ahead and plop it right in there and then as long as it's still turned 45 degrees just finish by you know just putting in the two corners first and then plopping in the edge pretty much the reverse of wh how you did with the with taking apart the first part
and there you go there's that one now you're gonna flip it over and repeat the same exact process there's the orange Let's see we need two there's one there's the other Sorry, my hands look a little bit oily because they are. I've been messing around with this cube, testing it for some new lubricants and such. Now you're going to want this one. And then the two final corners. Make sure they go in their right place. And the final edge. And that should do it. So, thanks for watching this video, guys, and um, stay tuned for more videos and such like that, and we'll see you guys later.